Okay, so today we're going to use the alphabet to play integrated strategies. Here's how it works. A wheel with letters of the alphabets will be spun to determine which operator I can use. So for example, if the wheel lands on the letter S, I can only choose operators that start with that letter, meaning I can choose Surter, Silverash, Swire, etc. The wheel will be spun at every voucher and vice versa. So some letters are going to be taken off the wheel since I don't have an operator that starts with that letter. So yeah, it's pretty similar to how the random operators challenge works. So the last time I was here, I had some operators that weren't leveled up, but this time I have made sure that most of my operators are leveled up. So hopefully we can go through this process much more smoother as your heart desires. And for this one, I'm going to choose supporter first. So let's spin the supporter wheel. Um, hopefully we can land on the letter L and it looks like we're going to get M. So the first name that pops up is Magellan. Uh, what other supporters are there? I mean, we have Mayor, but, uh... I'm gonna go with Magellan. I'm gonna go with Magellan. Um, I've used her for a little bit. That's why I was kind of like iffy on it. But nonetheless, welcome to the team. I honestly don't know who I want from this pool. All right, Will, please cooperate with me. Give me someone that I can work with. And uh, no way. You guys are gonna give me L? Oh my God, I don't want L anymore. Oh, um, we don't even have enough hope to pick an L operator. That's kind of funny. So let's spin the wheel again. Oh, I actually probably should have taken out the letter L. It would be funny if I got the letter L again. And G. Wait a minute. The only guard that starts with the letter G, ladies and gentlemen, is Gavio the Invincible. That's <laughs> third time's a charm. Why not? Give me something good. Then we're going to get the letter F. Hold on. Do we have an operator that starts with the letter F? Uh, yes, we do. I for how could I forget about Frostleaf? There we go. I'd never use Frostleaf. Who's going to take it home for the casters? Is it going to be 12 F C D R S L? And of course, of course, we're going to get the reserve operator. I think we're going to be fine. I just got to get myself familiar with uh, Magellan again, Frostleaf, and I mean, reserve operator too, but I think we're going to be fine. So we get a supporter voucher. Now we don't even have enough hope to get Ling, so this is kind of tragic. But uh, let's see who we get. I'm fine with every letter except for M because Magellan is not Etude, so there's no point in promoting her. And we're gonna get P. So we got Praminix and Podenko. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. This is why this is kind of cool. I get to choose between the two. So Podenko is cool. She does have a healing skill. But I'm going to go with Praminix because of her debuffing skills. And I think we're going to get a medic sooner or later. So we're going to pick Praminix. No way I just got a medic voucher. Yeah, maybe I do live up to my name after all. I guess I have to change my channel description after this. Only four letters on the wheel, but there is a chance to get that reserve operator again. But it looks like Ansel will be joining our team. Yeah, I already see a flaw with this challenge. The amount of hope really dictates the variety of operators that you could choose from. And because we don't have any hope, there's not a lot to choose from. Speaking of which... We got Reserve Caster. We missed out on a Reserve Medic. Can we get Reserve Melee? Wait, I wasn't serious about- Okay, it's fine. I, I I guess we could work with this. We just need to get more firepower, and I think we'll be fine in the long run. Having two Reserve Operators does not help that cause at all. We got to get more lucky here. We're getting some of our hope back, which is great. Five hope. We can recruit a five-star operator. Sniper voucher. Oh, that is a game changer. If we land on P, that is a game changer. Wow. And she could be promoted with a voucher. Oh, we have to get P. Come on, Wheel. Please land on P. This is all I asked for. I want to land on P. No way. Oh, my. We needed some firepower, and look who we got.
We got a specialist voucher. There's honestly no one here that I'm really looking for. If we get F Eater, she's level one, by the way. If we get F Eater, I'll laugh. Let's spin the wheel. We're gonna land on C. And it looks like upon further investigation, Cliff Hart is the only specialist operator that I have that starts with C. So welcome to the team. Ooh, this stage is going to be rough with no DP recovery operators. I might lose a couple lives here, but let's just try to keep it at a bare minimum. Looks like we're going to end this stage with only two lives being taken away. Actually, no, never mind three. But Frostleaf and Majun have made my life so much easier. I didn't expect this from them, but man, I have to put some more respect on their names. My goodness, they've made this challenge so much fun. Supporter or defender? Okay, I think I'm going to lean more towards defender. I would love to have Saria, Mudrock, and Blemishine. Supporter, we have Ling. There's just more options with Defender. I think I'm going to go with Defender here. S, B, and M are the letters that we want to land on. S, B, and M. S, B, and M. And my heart has been broken. We're going to get A. The first Defender that comes to mind is Asbestos. So we're going to be choosing Asbestos. She's three block Arts Protector. I kind of want that on my team. Aurora is only one block. And Ashrock is three block, but she's a ranged Defender. And I feel more comfortable with picking Asbestos here. So I'm going to choose her. Okay, we ended up losing four lives. This is not ideal at all. Moving on to the final stage of this floor. What's it going to be? Medic and Caster. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Obviously, you have Calcid, but then you have Kyobe, Golden Glow, Aya, Ifrit. There's too many more options for me to get in Caster. I feel like I have to pick Caster. That's the safe bet. Ifrit, huh? Okay, maybe I could put on that top tile, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing enough damage to kill those guys. If we do end up clearing this stage, I feel like we're going to only have like two lives left. So we're going to be cutting it close here. I mean, we could definitely pick Iris too, but if I'm going to take a gamble, it's going to be Ifrit in this top tile strategy that I'm thinking of. I hope that we do good damage. If we don't do good damage, this might be over. Let's just go for it. I hate this stage so much. We have eight lives, so it's... Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Let's just go for it. All right. Let's see how much damage Ifrit does. Oh my god, okay, that's not as much damage as I like. Yeah, this is going to be tough. I guess that strategy was worth deploying, but man, that is not as much damage as I thought we would have. We just lost Ifrit, but this is still manageable. I can still do this. I have no choice but to let these guys walk through, but the biggest thing I have to do is kill these damn spiders. I can't let them go through. Oh my god, we're actually going to do it, guys. We're actually going to do it. Yes yes oh my god look at all the operators that we could choose from but the problem is we only have two lives so oh we definitely need someone big here the whole damn alphabet's on the board so let's see what we get come on we get a you have got to be kidding me there is no six star operator here that starts with the letter a oh my goodness this is where the challenge comes crashing down guys okay hold on this stage is actually doable we could actually clear this stage with two lives maybe Wow!